Hi again. My name is Rebel and I'm the Rebel Reseller. And today we're doing another haul video of the stuff that we picked up at the Goodwill Bins in St. Louis in December. Got a nice little pile over here to share with you guys. But first, we're going to have a little mail call. I went to the post office this past weekend and picked up two packages. One is from Tracy, which I'm going to share with you next. And then I went on Whatnot. I had seen somebody make a post about there was going to be a vintage Fisher Price um, Whatnot sale. So I went on there and picked up a few things for me. I'll show you what I picked up at, on Whatnot after I go through what Tracy sent me. So Robert's already prepped the box because he doesn't trust me with the uh, the box cutter. So it's right here. It's not that I'm afraid she's going to hurt me with it. It's that I'm afraid she's going to hurt herself with it because she is <laughs> incompetent with anything sharp. Uh-huh. Just to thank you for all you do to for everyone. Thanks. Take care, Tracy. So thank you, Tracy. Tracy's been a big supporter of our big channel. Big supporter. We really appreciate that support. First thing is this pray without ceasing. I love this. I wished I knew how to do cross stitch. Because I think I would love that. But there's that. I made a t-shirt design for Amazon way back in the day. That had like a prey thing on it and it was prey without cc mm -hmm. i sold a few of them but i'm a really bad t-shirt designer yeah look we have a douglas looks kind of like a like a husky wolf dog kind of sorta not sure haven't seen it i just learned recently that there's codes on the tags of some of the douglas all right. Well, oh, look, Robert. Tracy. Poor Robert. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. I'm oh. going to say it, say it right now. Do not sell Foghorn. <laughs> so if she sells Foghorn again, y'all, it'll be recorded that it should not have happened. He didn't claim it. I claimed it. He did not claim it. I claimed it. You just didn't remember. Oh. She sent me a club penguin. Y'all, these are pretty good. So definitely keep your eyes out for these. They'll have this right here on the foot. Oh, all my favorites. Look again. Oshkosh Bagosh. It has the little, what do they call it? Vest back. Yeah. Outfit on it. Oh, I love that. Very cute. Look, one of the Furbies, but it's the beans. These do very, very well. Also, here's some smalls. Let's see. Hallmark. He's got a purple shirt on. Very cute. Look. Pooh, one of my favorite characters. And then this is Telly Monster. This is one of the Kellogg's. Love them also. She sent me a um I've, they're still right here, the uh, Sesame Street characters. They're waiting for me to finish my wall, which isn't done yet. Is that a dig at me? No, not at all. But we have the materials outside that we have the pegboard to put up. I'm currently putting a shelf together right here. We finally yep. started on it yesterday. We've got a shelf going up. It's Rebel redesigned it halfway through, so I had to... I changed my mind. I didn't have to backtrack. I just had to stop and think for a bit. Yep. These are one of those carnival style plush. Oh, it's a Cedar Point. I have fond memories of going to Cedar Point when I was a kid. My cousins lived up in Michigan and we would go up there. And I mean, I come from a very large family, so it would be tons of us going all together and having just an amazing vacation. This looks like, reminds me of Droopy from mm -hmm. the TV show. Now, this is intriguing and I don't know what it is. Makes me think maybe palace pets just because y'all I've been processing like crazy all my smalls. I don't know what that is. I'll have to check it out. Oh, this is um yeah, Harry Potter. I've not had this purple one before. I know, Tracy, you sent this because it's purple. I might have to hold on to it for a little while. I love that. I'll set it back here for now. Oh, and look, y'all, Ty. 
Princess Diana, it's got to be worth at least $10,000, right? At least. Oh, look. This must go with that piglet. Look how cute. Got to save that too. Saved. And we've got a couple of more plush. This is one of the Tyco beans. And then this looks like maybe Fisher Price. Nope, Hasbro. But Cookie Monster, very cute. Oh, and there's a package in the bottom. Wrapped like a present. Look, y'all. Present. Hmm, I hear a rattle. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. It's a whole box of jammy pies. Y'all, look. I always talk, you know, I always talk, if there was something that I could find, what's my biggest wish list? And it's the jammy pies. And she well, has sent me. We always joke going up to a yard sale. There's going to be a whole box of jammy pies here. There's going to be a box of jammy pies. Especially on the ones that I'm like, I don't want to get out. I don't want to get out. And I always say, Rebel, there might be a box of jammy pies over there. We need to get out. <laughs> Look, I have my jammy pies now. Very, very, very cute. Tracy. Tracy. This is amazing. Amazing. All right. Got to go over here. And in its box, y'all. In its box. I don't know. I'm, I'm flabbergasted. Thank you so much, Tracy. That's, that is an amazing gift. All right. Not as good as Foghorn. Oh my gosh, I have chicken skin. It's not as good as Foghorn Leghorn. <laughs> He's so thrilled with Foghorn. Y'all, I sold his little figure that he one time said he wanted it, and then it sat in my tote forever. And finally, I was like, well, obviously he doesn't want it. He didn't put it in his pile, because he has a pile that's going to get put on the, sh the shelf too. I made the mistake of thinking you loved me enough to remember that I wanted to keep it. <laughs> All right. And then let me show you the two things that I picked up on whatnot. Look. He has some condition issues. Look. He's called Crybaby Bear. He is vintage Fisher Price. Loved it. And then I had to buy this. And there's several of these, so now I'm going to have to start looking for the rest of them. But this is Fisher Price also. It's kind of like a puppet. It can go this way, or it can come this way. I've had them in the past, and I never kept them for myself. But now I've decided I want them for myself, so I grabbed that. So these are for my wall. Let's start with some of the bin stuff. Oh, it needs a bath. But I pick up most Care Bears. This one is... Not vintage. It's one of the cousins. If it comes clean, probably still $10 to $15. I pick up most of these, y'all. It says it is Pocket Mon Monsters Nintendo Pokemon. I've got another one, I think. It might not even be listed yet. If not, I may make a lot depending on the value of them. Look, this is Walgreens. I tend to pick up a lot of Walgreens. A lot of it's bread and butter, but every once in a while, um, I find something that's, you know, 20, 30 plus dollars. Aurora, I pick up tons. If I've got other farm animals or other horses, I may just go ahead and make a lot. Usually it's like six to eight dollars each. So I prefer at this point to make some lots and some of it I do leave as individuals. I just sold a, like a four pack of Chick-fil-A cows. Don't think I have any more loosey-goosey ones right now. So I'll probably just hold on to him and wait till I get a couple more and then make a lot. I find I tend to find these quite often. Now this, it needs a bath. What is this one? Like Samoyed or something? Samoyed looks about like that. It also... There's a great Pyrenees, but I think their heads are bigger. But look, this is Vintage Dakin Pillow Pets. Here's the, the tag. You can barely see it, y'all. Uh, probably, I 
don't know, 70s or 80s. Actually, this doesn't even say date. Now I got to look. Oh, yeah, R. Dakin. But on the back, it's saying Dardanelle. Oh, no. My problem with this is I can't tell what it's stuffed with. Maybe it's foam. Synthetic foam. My problem is, is I don't, sometimes that foam might just be so rough with your washing machine. I'd be careful. I may just try to, like, hand wash it and then just list it, leaving all cleaning to buyer. I'm hoping, I don't know, 30, 40 bucks for him, if not more, depending on how clean I can get him. I'm always picking up advertising plush. This is actually Wish Pets, but it says Allie's Friend Hippo from Allie's Friend Foundation. Not quite sure what that foundation is all about, but I tend to pick up this stuff anyway. Probably still only going to be bread and butter. Hope this will... His scarf has come loose. He's supposed to... Oh, he works. Oh no, he might just keep going. Trying to see who made him. Love it. I'm probably going to list it $20, $25. And I'll put a video of it working in my listing. Allie's Friends was established in 2014 to support families caring for children with cancer and other severe health issues. Oh. It is designed to it was designed to identify needs not being met by other programs and to fill those gaps. All righty. Sounds like a worthy organization to support. Yep. Look, I showed you guys in the last video one of these. This one is a whole lot cleaner and it has its tag. I don't think the other one did. But his name is Livlig. Love him. I don't remember the comps on him. $20, $25, I want to say. That was a long time ago. Yeah. It's been it's been a while since we recorded a haul. Oh. Sure. I just was thinking that if we'd recorded like two days ago, it'd still be a long time for me to yeah, remember exactly. the haul. I love this. Look at that. Not even sure I ain't even looked yet. Oh, it is Fiesta. It says, Lay Down Mom and Baby. Love it. It's going to need a bath. It's got a little bit of marker on there. You don't pick up a lot of Fiesta these days. It doesn't sell as well, but it does make interesting stuff like this that's worth picking up. Yes. And like I still, Fiesta does a lot of the Great Wolf Lodge and I tend to pick that up also. But this is very cute. I call these the My First Dolls. They're cloth. This one is by Lindsay. It's it's a bread and butter brand, but it was clean. It's purple, so I grabbed it. There are actually some that say my first doll, mm -hmm. on, aren't there? Maybe yeah, some. Make some, but I've seen them. Look, Jelly Cat. I tell you, I found quite a bit of them. The other ones that I've shown you, their its name was Maple. I don't know this one yet. Don't know it. I'll have to go either on the Jelly Cat website or if Google Lens will hopefully help me. Now, on Google Lens, you can take a picture of something like this. And if it starts throwing, showing you other things, then in the search bar, you can put Jelly Cat. And sometimes that will get you what you want. You know, you have to use your words to narrow it down. <laughs> You're putting a song there, aren't you? <laughs> All right. What you want. Okay. So we had this discussion recently. When you, when somebody says what you want, what goes through your mind? Tell me what you want, what you really, really want. That's what you hear. Don't tell me what you want, what you really, really want. And I hear what you, what you, what you want. What you, what you, what you want. Didn't you show this already in a video? I don't know if we did or not. I think so. I don't think so. Okay. We'll see. So, if I've already shown you all the difference in what we think in a video, I apologize for the repeat. <laughs> it is dirty. Dirty, dirty. But it says, well, I'll show you because I really ain't quite figuring that out yet. Minnesota Life 
Miniso? Miniso? Don't know. It's got all kinds of tags. Very cute. Probably going to be bread and butter. Love this. It is baby gun. Dirty. Maybe bread and butter. Maybe a little bit more. Hallmark. Just cute, but most of these are like $7.95, $9.95. But it had its paper tag and it was Valentine's Day, even though today's Valentine's Day. <laughs> Almost like I should have been in the holiday bag. Shush. <laughs> All right, this is Kelly Toy. A little, I call these stroller rattle activity plush because it's got some teethers. It'll get ran through the wash. Probably only going to be bread and butter. Puzzles. Y'all, we just started a 2,000 piece puzzle. That's it's like Disney. Yeah, it was Disney Pixar. But here's a 300 piece. Just love puzzles. Love them. Somebody asked in one of my com a comment in one of my videos about puzzle pieces. Can you just count them? You can't count them because a lot of puzzles, it might be 995 pieces for a thousand piece. It could be a thousand and two. It just, they, they just keep it in a general 1000 piece, 500 piece, but it could be more or less than that. So you, I, I would never sell a puzzle that I have, that was opened that I have not done myself. Because counting the pieces isn't, it still could be incomplete. We buy, we don't buy a lot of little kids' puzzles, but we, but if we do pick them up at the bins or in a yard sale, I count them. Because they right. say 24 pieces or 63 or 48 pieces. 48 or, yeah. And those are generally But accurate. I'm still going to put them together anyway because I want to see the condition. Because sometimes kid puzzles can be chewed on or the... The, the paper this yeah the paper is lifted off of the little tab and we always want to show a picture of it completed completed yep but that just lets us know at the yards at whether or not to pick it up exactly more zoom zooms still got my pile right there getting ready i've got we've had a spa day in the last few days so i'm waiting on a few things to come back downstairs look again it's, i've been told that these are called amusables and this is a jelly cat corn on the cob to go with my broccoli that I already have. I haven't even listed it yet. It's in the pile. I don't know if I'm going to do them individually or if I'm going to wait and just get all of them that we found and do a lot. Don't know. Don't know. Probably individually, though. Very cute. The broccoli was $15, so I'm just going to kind of guess and say that one's maybe $15 or so, too. All right. You can't go yet. i got to tell you about the corn. Okay. I was curious if it, corn would be worth as much. Because to me, corn is worth way more than broccoli. <laughs> it tastes way better. And I really want corn on the cob now that you've shown me that. Mm -hmm. So I had to look up. It is um, 25 new. So make 25 used free shipping. So $12, $15, $20. $20. But I saw in, in here that somebody sold a lot of four. A carrot, a beet, the corn on the cob, and a leek for $80. Used. Wow. I might have to contemplate that one. I got to find the rest of them first, though. All right. Let me show you some smalls and then a few more plush. Look how cute these are. Little doll shoes. You know what? It's, oh, they're our, this one's our generation. I bet you this is too, because it's about the same size. I'll just make a lot of the shoes. And probably $9.95 or so. I tend to list a lot of things at $9.95. All right, y'all, this is good find right here. These are dinosaur train, and as you can see, I have some of the dinosaurs tucked in there. There was a time, something like this, I could sell for at least 50, if not more dollars. I have, I've got one set listed, um, but I haven't found these in quite a while, so I'm going to have to see. I'm still hoping, uh, maybe 40 to 50 dollars for all of this, and I think I have more pieces of it down in this bag, but I went ahead and grabbed these. Definitely familiarize yourself with dinosaur trains. Here's another one of these. Every one of them I've been listing for about $10. These are Hot Wheels Monster Jams. This one says he is the Grave Digger. So 
Well, that's probably kind of where I'm going with most of these. Hang it, I just listed a whole bunch of Peppa Pigs. So I don't know if I'll set these aside and start a new lot or I just keep ending the listing that I already did. Take new pictures and um, relist it. More little people love picking them up. Look, How to Train Your Dragon. I'm, like I said, I'm doing a lot of listings of my smalls right now. And it does not bother me to list a single thing for like five bucks. Hoping at some point I'm going to find something else to go with it and I can bump the price up. But I say this all the time. It's easier for me to find an item that's in my inventory than to start digging through boxes and totes and bags and to refine something. Um, so that's just my thought process on it. If you go into my store, you're going to see a lot of lower dollar items. It's because I'm going to list it. I bought it. I'm going to list it. And, you know, eventually, hopefully I'll find something else to go with it and I can bump the price up and then make it Hopefully somebody will want to buy it because now you've got two or three or five or ten things. I think maybe this is Playmobil. I'll have to Google lens it. It kind of looks Playmobil, but like the, the chunkier version. Octonauts. I just know. Maybe. I've got a, a few that are listed individually. I think I'm going to go ahead and take them down and make them into a lot. So he'll just go with it. Lots of Hasbro figures like this. I tend to pick them up. You know, the Marvel, the Star Wars. I'm not quite sure what series he goes to. It says CDA on the back. Google Lens will tell me. I'm not sure if he's Imagine Next or... Something else. I don't see the eye on his foot. I've got a couple of these. I need to just make a lot. Oh, he's picked up smutch from the, the bins. Pro I think now I'll have like three of them in a lot. Did you need to say something? Yeah, I need to say something. We got a computer problem, y'all. Yeah, we're going to have to buy a new computer down here. It just randomly turns off. I dropped one of those. I dropped the donkey and it touched the side of the computer where there aren't any buttons and it just turned off. And that's on top of the fact that it just randomly turns off. It is, I used this when I was programming back in 2012. So this computer is 12 years old. Yeah. And we're going to need a new one down here. Yeah. All right. Wild Republic, Dalmatian, of course. I'm hoping like 10 to $15 for it. Look, he needs a bath. But y'all, I love these older classic looking Winnie the Pooh. This one is Disney. Just love him. I'm hoping like $12 to $15, maybe a little more. The problem is, is you can tell he's been washed. He's got a lot of fuzz balls, and I'm going to have to wash him. I'll use my sweater shaver on him a little bit. But fleece just really tends to show its age once it's been washed. Look at this. Love it. This is Eden, Beatrix Potter, Peter Rabbit. Just love it. Probably like $12 to $15. This rabbit, rabbit, fox. It says Make Believe Ideas from 2021. I thought it kind of sort of looked like, like a book character type plush. But look, he's got... Little tags in his ears, but just say no to taggies. Love. This is the older Blue's Clues. Doesn't have his other tags. Just love him. He's kind of got beans in him. But for the most part, they're, they're bread and butter. He needs a bath. Look how absolutely adorable. I don't know what this string is. Got to get it cut off. What is this? One of these Highland cows or whatever. Scottish Highland cows. Yeah, look how cute. It is Animal Adventure 2020. I don't know. I'm hoping maybe $15 to $20 for him. 
they're very popular right now. A couple of loveys and then a treasure, treasure. This is Cloud Island. Look how cute. Needs a bath. Don't know. Some of the Cloud Island plush are really good. All right, y'all. Think this might be a treasure. It is baby gunned. I'm having Robert look it up right now. Dotty Dots. My recollection is there's some of these are worth quite a bit. Just they're the larger loveys. It says Dotty Dots comfy cozy. So what did you find? It's kind of like when you met and married me. You thought you were getting a treasure, but yeah, something that's all right. It's not a treasure exactly, but it's all right. All right, so this one's all right. What is it? It's about 30 bucks. About 30. So very good for a lovey that we found at the bins. But, but it's got cousins. Oh. It's got a duck cousin for 100, a cat cousin for 90, and a dog cousin for 120. Dang, y'all. All used. Keep your eyes out. You see these dots, dotty dots, and then baby gunned. That might check the comps. Check the comps. Remember, I'm the frog, not the princess. Okay. Or prince. <laughs> the princess. I'm not the princess either. <laughs> and then look, y'all. This is baby bagosh. Pretty sure it says kids gifts, but y'all, this looks like the Eden tag. Very cool. Terry cloth. Needs a bath. I want to say, I don't remember what the value is on this. I'm going to guess, let's say 30 to 50, somewhere in there. There's a, there's, there, the, I had the Blue Eden one that was very similar to this that I think, mine was in rough condition that sold for 30 or $40, but the girl sold for quite a bit. Um, but I have a feeling this is a little treasure also, but it's, it says baby begosh right there on the chest. All right, y'all. Fun stuff. Again, Tracy, I can't believe you sent me my jammy pies. Love, love, love. Rest of y'all, Tracy, you can take the rest of the day off, okay? The rest of y'all get to work. Bye.